What's up everybody? I got something new to open today. This is from Rhino USA. It's the flag hitch cover. So we're gonna open it up, take a look, and see what we think. All right guys, so I don't have a hitch cover, and the reason why you wanna get a hitch cover is to prevent water, mud, snow, and stuff from getting in there. I'll show you what my hitch looks like in a minute, but from actually using it to tow, the metal on metal kind of bangs around, scrapes off the paint, you get water on it, it gets a little rusty and everything. But what you wanna do is try and keep that a little bit, you wanna try and keep that a little bit clean. So they sell a whole bunch of different type of hitch covers. A lot of them are a little bit more expensive. This one is just rubber. So it just pushes in and hopefully stays. It has a safety piece here. So in case it does fall out, that it will hold it. Uh, but I didn't, I really didn't know what I wanted in there. I like the American flag, I think it looks good. Plus this one is all black and gray, so you can barely see it. I just wanted something subtle, nothing crazy. So I got this one and it was only $12, which is the biggest piece. So $12 for this to kind of see if I like it or not, I think is huge, I think it's really great. Let's open it up. It says that this is made from aluminum and heavy duty rubber. So I'm guessing the flag is made of aluminum. Let me just open it up, get a feel for it. Let's see what it is. Yep. Okay, so this is aluminum. It's nice because you can see that it has this covering on it to prevent scratching before it ships. But I mean, this is going to be on the back of my truck. I'm guessing that it's going to get uh, pretty beat up. So let's pull this off right now. So like I said, that this is the all black and gray version. It comes in other colors also. A little warranty activation card. It comes in other colors. It comes in a blue, a red, and a green. This is actually not the easiest to pull off. But Rhino USA actually makes great products. I have some of their other products, which I forget if I've actually made videos on them or not. If I haven't, I will. Uh, because I use them for the quad and for some other stuff. Now, if we look at the side here, so this looks to be an aluminum piece. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and get the camera a little bit different later, but this is actually dented. And then if you look at the side pieces, they're kind of like press fitted on. It's not the cleanest thing. I thought that this was actually gonna be a aluminum piece with the rubber around it, where it's almost like fitted in there with a little lip holding it in but it seems that what they did is that they have a bigger piece and then they kind of press fit it down, kind of round it and crush the corners. And then back here, you can see it actually has tabs that come around. So I would say I'm less <laughs> pleased with this. I thought it's a little bit different than I thought. Um, I don't know if I like this design too much. I kind of, I guess I had something different in my head than what this is, but it'll do the job. Like I said, it's gonna be on the back of the truck. So this actually goes on first. I'll show you how that works, so in case this comes out, it should hold it. But let me get some close-up pictures of this, or at least some video footage of it, so you can see what it really looks like close-up, and then we'll go put it on the truck. So here's a more close-up video. If you guys can see right here, it actually came in a little dent, which means that this probably is not the strongest aluminum. It's not enough that I'm gonna send it back for $12, you know, but I mean, you can definitely see the dent there. So let's take a look at the corners now. I brighten this up a little bit so you can see, but as you can see that they bring it around, they have these tabs that hold on right here, but the corners are just kind of like smashed in there. It's not like it was made in this shape. It's definitely just bent around the rubber. And look at this, it's not even like cut nicely. So like I said, I love Rhino USA products, so I'm a little bit, disappointed on how this is. I mean, this is not, I mean, for $12, you can't go wrong, but this, if you look up close, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but you guys can get your own idea as to what you think. Let's go put it on the truck. That's the close up. Other than that, the rubber here, nice rubber. It is thick. It's supposed to be heavy duty. It's going to be UV resistant, so it shouldn't fade in color. You know, it says Rhino USA at the top, which is nice. And it's supposed to be corrosive resistant and everything, so salt on the road and everything like that, it should hold up to it. So let's go put this on. All right, so you can see my hitch here, so you can see it's all kind of getting corroded. So basically the metal on metal, when you put your hitch receiver in here, now it's super dirty. Once you put your hitch receiver in here, it bangs around. So it kind of messes up the metal here, it gets wet, and it just doesn't look that great. So basically you get a hitch cover, 
make it look nicer, but to also protect it so that things don't go inside so that you're not just holding water in there where it'll rust out faster, things like that. So this back piece here is actually gonna go over here. And then if you can see, there's a lip here. So it's gonna hold it on. So in case this piece comes out and then this just pushes in. So let me put that on real quick for you and we'll take a look. All right, so it wasn't too hard to actually get this on. You can see it goes around here now. Uh, and it's held on by that lip. It's a little bit tight, so you gotta stretch it out a little bit. And then basically all you do is you take this, you're gonna push it in, and it's basically press fitted in there. Nice. So now, from behind, looks super nice. So you can't really see all those small details on the corners or the dent, so that's why I'm not sending it back. And for $12, you know, it's not worth it to send it back. Um, overall, decent product. You can make your own decisions if you want to spend the $12 on it or not.